Hello, fifth graders. Pretty soon you're gonna be sixth graders here at Fairfield Woods. We're really excited to have you come to our school. Um, this is our main lobby, and you can see we have our Welcome to Woods sign right here. A little bit about our school. You know that uh, there are sixth graders, seventh graders, eighth graders here, and we welcome um, sixth graders from four feeder schools. Today, we're gonna to take you on a little tour of some of the important places at the school that you will be part of when you join us in the fall. So come with me, let's take a tour. This is one of the main hallways in the school and it's gonna take us down to the sixth grade wing. On the way, you're gonna see here's the main office. This is where you would come if you have any questions. Our secretaries are there. My office is here as well. So that's the main office right inside the front door. These are our family consumer science rooms. So in this room, you're gonna have a, a period uh, during the school year on sewing. So you'll have a nice sewing project that you'll be working on. And this is also part of Family Consumer Sciences. So you'll have a, a period during the school year where you come and you learn to cook some things with uh, Miss, Miss Allen. So I'm sure you'll enjoy that. That'll be a new experience for both of you. Coming down these stairs is where the sixth grade wing is. So sixth graders have a whole part of the building just to themselves, which is really awesome. On the left-hand side are the classrooms for the Everest team, and you may be part of the Everest team. The classrooms on the right-hand side are the Quest team classrooms. You might be part of that team as well. And then if you turn right around and look down this hallway, this is where Team Galaxy is. So. Students, when you come to Fairfield Woods, you will come in as a fifth grader from one of those elementary schools. But once you get here, we're going to mix all of you up and you will be placed on a team. Team Everest, Team Quest, or Team Galaxy. And there will be students from all of the four elementary schools on that team. So you'll have a lot of nice opportunities to make some new friends here at Fairfield Woods. Each one of you will be assigned a locker. Some students choose to put locks on their lockers. Some choose not to put locks on their lockers. That's totally up to you. At this time, we're going to walk down this hallway and we're going to go to some of our unified arts classrooms. Those are probably what you know at elementary school as specials. About 10 years ago, they added a big addition onto Fairfield Woods. The building used to end right here, but then they added on this beautiful new addition on the back side of the building, and that has our art classrooms in it. It has some other really important grades, uh, grade classrooms in there as well, so follow me up the ramp. This is one of two art classrooms that we have, and actually I call them art studios because, as you can see, there's lots of... Um, materials and supplies for you to create some amazing works of art. And what's really great about the art classrooms is that they open up onto our courtyard and there's a door that goes outside. So sometimes your teacher may take you out to do art class out in the courtyard, which is a really nice feature to have um, as part of the art room. But when you come here, you'll have a drawer assigned to you where your art can can stay, you'll probably be doing things like sculpting and painting and drawing. Um, it's a lot of fun. Most of the students at Fairfield Woods love coming to art class. And now we're gonna go back down the hall and check out some other spaces for you to see. Come with me. We're back here at the Galaxy Hallway. We're gonna go up our side hallway here. That's gonna take us to our library, so follow me. Come on in. This is our library. You are getting a first-hand look at the library without any furniture in it. All of that furniture you saw in the hallway usually is in here in the library, but this is a nice big space that we have. We have loads of books and other resources for you to use when you come here. Uh, also, when you come to Fairfield Woods, we will give you a Chromebook, which is basically a small laptop. And if you have any issues with your laptop, 
you would come here for help in the morning if if there's a problem with your Chromebook this is where you would bring it in the morning so at Fairfield Woods we also have four computer labs dedicated for students and staff to use uh, when they're here um, and they're in different parts of the building uh, as I already said you will receive a Chromebook when you come here so you'll actually have your own laptop with you all day long but sometimes your teacher or you might want to use one of our labs so let's go take a look at one of those right now. It's right across the hall from the library. Okay, let's go back out into the hallway and we're gonna take you to one of my favorite places, the cafeteria. I know it's hard for you to imagine, Fairfield Woods is a very large school. Your elementary school is going to be much smaller than what you find when you come here. But I can tell you that after about three days, most sixth graders know their way around this building really well. And all of the adults, the teachers, the paraprofessionals, uh, all the folks that are here uh, will help you those first few days. We are now back in the main lobby area. We started right up there by the front doors and we just made a big circle around and now we're back here in the main lobby. Um, it may be confusing to you to see this on video, but once you get here, you will see that it's actually pretty easy to find your way around. But the cafeteria is right here, right off the main lobby. Once again, you can see all the tables are put up because uh, they are cleaning and getting things ready. Um, but basically all sixth graders come to lunch at the same time which means in September, there will be about 250 of you in here having lunch all together. We have three lunch lines. Uh, there are several options every day. One thing that we do not have at Fairfield Woods is a recess period, um, but that's okay because you have lots of other classes throughout the day and you have two special classes every day. You have phys ed uh, a couple of times a week. So there's lots of opportunity for um, exercise and changing between classes and walking around the building so you do get your exercise in so we don't have a recess period but you do have a 30 minute lunch every day with your friends and that's an opportunity to see all your friends from the, the elementary schools that you're from as well you can get together with them at lunchtime okay why don't we go out the side door and we'll walk down the hallway to some of our gyms the first stop is our fitness center Come on in. One of Dr. Rosado's favorite places. Come on in. This is our fitness center. Uh, it's actually one of the oldest parts of the building. You can see that this gym was one of the original gyms for the school. We've converted it to a fitness center, which has all of the workout machines you would find in a nice gym, uh, as well as we have uh, the medicine balls and the weights and we have um, the heavy ropes that you can use and a lot of mats for stretching so this is a place for you to come and work out with your PE teacher let's go to the next gym right down the line again the cafeteria is right here we're coming down the hallway and the next gym is the project adventure gym project adventure is a special program at middle school where you work on trust building and positive risk taking. Um, they do all kinds of fun activities like climbing the wall or climbing the ropes to get to the ceiling. So come on in and take a look at the uh, Project Adventure Gym. You can see here's the rock climbing wall over here, or the, the climbing wall, I guess. I guess it's not really a rock climbing. Also up above, we have other climbing devices and the students up here who would like to climb to the top and write their autograph at the top, write their name into the ceiling, which is a lot of fun. So this is part of your phys ed program as well, and you will have that during, uh, during sixth grade. So come with me, we're gonna go to the next gym. We have four gyms at Fairfield Woods, which is pretty awesome.
On our way to the gym, let's stop in the wood shop. This is another fun activity that students like. Uh, Mr. Morris runs this classroom. He um, helps you with making woodworking projects. So I think you'll enjoy that as well. This is our big gym. This is where we have all of our basketball games. You'll spend time in here with your, P your PE teachers as well. Um, you can see it's a really big space. Sometimes they put the, uh, a moving wall down the middle so they can divide this space into two smaller gyms. But you can see this is where we have volleyball, we play all kinds of floor games, uh, basketball. We have a basketball team at Fairfield Woods. This is where those games are played. The bleachers will come out. It's a lot of fun to come and cheer on your team uh, when we have those in the, uh, in the winter time. So this is the big gym. And you will notice as you come in from the two doors, there are also locker rooms, um, one for the boys on this side and one for the girls on the other side. It's not a requirement that you change uh, your clothes for your gym day. However, it's important to know when that is so you wear sneakers and comfortable clothing so that if you have uh, your phys ed class that day, you're dressed appropriately. Some kids do like to get changed. They, they keep things in their locker here, uh, but that's totally up to you. So I mentioned to you a while ago that uh, a about 10 years ago, they added a big addition at the Fairfield Woods, which was really awesome, made our school top notch. One of the things they added to our school is a brand new, beautiful auditorium. I think it's the nicest one in town. So come, come with me, let's go take a look at the auditorium. This is all part of the new addition that they added on about 10 years ago. They're currently cleaning the carpet, so you're getting an inside look at what they do to get our school nice and ready for the new school year. So come with me. We have an open hallway here that looks into the, uh, into the audience. It's a very big space with a lobby right here and even, it even seats in near the back. It's not really a balcony, but it's a second tier of seats back here. But this stage has a big screen that comes down. So sometimes we show movies here. It's just like being in a movie theater. The sound quality is amazing. And this is where we have all of our presentations, concerts, if you're um, playing an instrument or singing in the chorus, this is where you'd be performing in the winter concert and in the spring concert. We have our drama production here every April. Um, so that, that's awesome. If you want to be in the drama club, you can sign up for that. Um, any presentations we have for parents or a special uh, guest author, they are all done here uh, in our beautiful auditorium. So I know when you get to Fairfield Woods, you're going to enjoy this space with your teammates very, very much. The next uh, area I want to take you to is our music wing to show you some of our music classrooms. So let's go back out into the lobby. This is the back of the building. This is the parking lot that's in the back. The Fairfield Branch Library is right over here. Their, their parking lot attaches to ours. So we're currently in the back of the building. And this is the lobby where um, families would come if they're coming to see a presentation. Along the wall, you can see a lot of posters from previous drama productions. So that's it's pretty awesome. We, we celebrate the arts at Fairfield Woods and we really love having our drama production posters up as well. So let's go back down to the other end of the, uh, this hallway. This is where the big gym was again. So we're going back down this way. And if you look all the way at the end of the hallway, you'll see a musical note painted on the wall. That tells you you're entering the music suite. So this hallway here is the music suite, we call that. This is where band lessons happen, orchestra lessons happen, chorus practices here. We have a music tech program, which I'll show you in a minute. That's also over here. So this is where you would come uh, for your music classes, and they're usually a couple of times a week as well. So if we look in here, 
you will see the band room. So come with me to the band room. There's some storage lockers here for you to keep your instrument in. And then this is where the band rehearses with uh, one of our band teachers. And let's head over to orchestra and chorus now. This is our orchestra room. Right now it's not really set up for practice because they've been cleaning it, but this is where you'd come if you play one of the stringed instruments. You'd come in here for your practices and your rehearsals. And then this is where Mrs. Frawley rehearses with the chorus. So sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade choruses, they would come here, find their seats, get their music out, and uh, practice uh, their choral arrangements with Mrs. Frawley. Let's go take a look at uh, Music Tech. Music Tech is a music class that's not performing, but it is one where there's a composition, learning how to play and compose music using computers as well as keyboards. So let's take a look at what that looks like. But you can see there are keyboards, there are computer, mon computer monitors, headsets, um, and this is where um, music keyboarding takes place in this particular classroom. And then follow me. We'll take a walk down to the technology education classroom. This is Mr. Clowby's classroom. Mr. Clowby teaches technology education. This is where you would do um, transportation technology, uh, computer uh, generated graphics. He has a couple of 3D printers that they use as well to make projects. Uh, rocketry happens here. There are a lot of uh, wonderful um, technology components to the middle school program. We have one more gym to see on our way back to the main lobby, so come with me. This is part of the new addition that they put onto the building as well. It's what we call our small gym. Uh, it's just another gym space that are used for uh, phys ed classes. Um, you can see that it's a lot newer and brighter than the previous uh, spaces, but uh, that's because it's pretty much brand new. But this is our small gym, and you will use this as well with one of your PE teachers when you come to Fairfield Woods. Let's go down and take a look at the health office. So on our way to the health center, I want to stop at one more spot, and that is our guidance office. Uh, when you come to Fairfield Woods, you will be assigned a guidance counselor, which is a new position uh, that you're probably not familiar with. Mr. Stebbins will be your guidance counselor when you arrive at Fairfield Woods. He will be with you for three years, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, all the way through your middle school time here at Woods. His office is right here in the guidance suite. Uh, he is there to help you if you have any questions about the middle school program, if you are having an issue with something going on at school that you wanna talk about, um, he is a big help. He can help you with your schedule. Um, he will see you to, just to talk things over, make sure things are going well for you. Um, so Mr. Seppins is gonna be a really important person for you to connect with when you get here at Fairfield Woods. And as, as I said, his office is here in the guidance suite. So the guidance secretary sits here. You would come into the office and tell her your name and she would get Mr. Sebbins for you or she would tell you to come back at a different time if that was uh, something that, if he had an appointment or you needed to see him at, at a different time. And down this hallway right here are the counselor offices. And Mr. Sebbins is the first one on the left. I'll just show you where that is. Mr. Sebbins' office is right here. And then the last stop I want to show you is the the health office. We have two full-time nurses at Fairfield Woods. We're really lucky, they're both excellent. Um, and that, you can see, we're right here in the main lobby, right across the hallway from the cafeteria, the nurse's office is right here.
Miss O'Callaghan is here and Miss Allison is here and they are both very nice, experienced nurses. They will take good care of you. If you need to lay down, they've got some nice uh, cots over here for you to lay on if you need to relax. And if you're not feeling well, they will definitely let you call your mom or your dad um, if you need to go home uh, during the school day. Uh, but they are a great resource to us and we're really lucky to have them here. And this is, as I said, this is our health office. So don't hesitate to um, let them know if you're not feeling well. And then let's go back out to the main lobby. So as you can see, we're now back at the lobby right where we started. I want to thank you for taking this tour with me. Um, it was a pleasure to show you Fairfield Woods. I know that when you come here in August, you're going to really love being part of our school community. When you come for your orientation at the end of August, you will have an opportunity then to meet your teachers, check out your locker, see where your classrooms are, and take a tour as well to see where all these spaces are with you actually in the building. Um, so thank you again. We're really looking forward to welcoming you here uh, when you come back to school in August. Take care and stay healthy.